You're watching the Fark Elite series powered by Smash Beer on OEN. Brought to you this week by Zing Energy, the official energy drink of Fark. There are only two race weekends left in the 2014 Fark Elite series campaign. Here are the highlights of sprint number one for the Vicker Collision in Glass 200 at the Salem Speedway in Indiana. Kevin Monroe picked up his 11th Marlisle pole of the season, and he gets a good jump over Joel Rodriguez, who had a very good qualifying run in that 92 car. Tom Brayton in the 100 at the back of the field tells Cletus McGuffey to get going. The field would come up to Lat McGuffey a couple laps later. Rip Tyler sees an opportunity, gets by the 92 of Rodriguez for a second, but then Rodriguez rides around the outside of the newly paved, turns 3 and 4, and holds off the 24. McGuffey would then get turned around by Jason Bates in the two. He ricochets off the walls. Tom Brayton and Laura Cyrus get swept up in it, and then several cars start to pile in as turn three is completely blocked. Stacy St. Martin almost gets away from this, but then she hits the wall and spins the five car out. And all hell continues to break loose as the field now tries to avoid her. Andre Kinasa gets spun into the pit lane by Richard Scott. And hello, Joel Rodriguez. The leaders would not have an easy time getting through this mess. Kevin Monroe led the field into the pit lane. Tire wear and all that debris on the track were a concern. However, Kurt Walker stayed out and led on the restart. Ryan Griffin and Ash Bridges were the last cars on the lead lap, but then contact between AJ Young and Tammy Barnton would set off another big wreck just out of turn two. And several of the leaders from the beginning of the race, Kevin Monroe, Rip Tyler, Joel Rodriguez and company, were held up on the inside. Here's another angle to show just how many cars were involved. Now on board with Lucas Sweeney, riding right behind Tanner Clayson. The 79 and the 8 were able to get through this and pick up several spots. Clayson gets pinned against the wall by the 100, but he and Sweeney shove their way through without too much of a problem. And now the race back to the caution is on between Sweeney and Clayson. Sweeney goes around the outside of the 79 and into second place. Ash Bridges gets into the wall, trying to come back around and get back onto the lead lap. But despite this setback, he would still be allowed to do so. Sweeney puts the bumper to race leader Kurt Walker right after the restart. Sweeney's tires are about 18 laps fresher, and that difference shows as Sweeney is able to hold off Walker around the inside when the outside is the preferred line around this track, and Sweeney really feels that benefit on the new pavement as Walker drops back like a rock. Tanner Clayson in the 79 for the Ike Durbin team continues to hold third, but Seiji Daiho wants it, and here's why those yellow lights are on. Leslie Riggs runs out of patience with the lapped car of Luke Ocean, and then she gets turned into the wall by Scott Dollitz in the 717, setting off another pileup. The Cody Yamada in the 22 has heavy damage. There he is, limping back to the pit lane. Ben Atkins, Scott Dollitz, and John Hawks also dropped out of the race. Lucas Sweeney continues to rocket around the track after the restart. Here is the battle for 20th. Tammy Barnton trying to rough up Kenny Brillen for that spot. They are both a lap down. And with all that damage that Brillen's got, it seems that he's holding up the 83. Leslie Riggs' damage would force her to pit after the restart, putting her out of contention to make the feature. Jason Bates' Smash Beer Lennard is also heavily battle-scarred, but he's hanging in there, running in ninth place. Bates could get himself into championship contention if he receives a miracle. Ash Bridges is running 17th for the struggling Stallman Racing Team, and considering his own personal struggles, he is being pretty impressive tonight. Kevin Monroe is in a hurry to pick his way through the field as he gets into the back of Seiji Daiho. And then Anami Mura in the third Kurt Walker car rides Ash Bridges all the way into the inside wall off of turn four. And that would cripple the 0-2 car. Bridges limps into the pit lane out of contention to make the feature. Team owner George Stallman was furious with the 39 crew, but Lucas Sweeney leads the rest of the way and picks up his first Spark Elite Series victory since Talladega in 2011. Kevin Monroe, Kurt Walker, Vincenzo Focasato, and Seiji Daiho rounded out the top five.